Hey everybody, welcome to week four of the Owls, and it is Monday currently, which is the 21st. Oh no. Oh dang, it just hit midnight. I was like, that's not right. It is March 20th. It's not March. This week has some lofty goals. I just kind of want to go over those first. Let's just I mean, the thing is, is I procrastinated all day today, which isn't a surprise. I'm a procrastinating kind of person. And I just kind of hung out, got ready really slowly. And then I came to my book room like maybe four, five hours ago. I was like, I'm gonna get my editing done. I'm gonna do so many things right now. That's like booktube stuff. And that's when I decided that I was actually gonna make a TikTok. <laughs> quarantine has officially gotten to me. I think that's like my plea of insanity. It's quarantine's fault. Like it just looks so, it just looks like so much fun. I get it. I get the people that don't like TikTok. I was one of those people. I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna get on TikTok. It's just like the poor man's version of Vine. I loved Vine and I was never gonna get one. And then like in January, I downloaded it as a joke. And then I started liking the TikToks and then I just kept watching them. And now we're here, I uploaded a TikTok. And that took a lot of my time also. So we're finally getting to things. I'm finally getting to editing and all that good stuff. But first let's kind of go over the books that I have to read this week because I mean I don't have to I guess but I would really like to get to all of these books this week and three of them are physical like who do I think I am anymore I don't know obviously we have the books that I started last week so I want to finish The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen I am I think about halfway through this audiobook right now so I just have to keep listening to it. I am enjoying this again. I've, I think I mentioned that at the end of last week's vlog. And after that, I also have already started Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets physically. This one would be a really fast read. I was originally gonna like kick it off the list for this week, but it's gonna be a pretty quick read. So I'm not that worried about it. So that's still on there as well. After I finish The Boneless Mercies, right? That's what it's called. Oh no, I keep freaking calling it the other books. When I finish The Merciful Crow, I'm going to pick up All the Stars in Teeth by Adeline Grace on audio. I originally wanted to pick this up like first, but my Scribd account was like on hold until the new month. And I think that my account renews on the 20th, so I should check today to see if it's all renewed so I can actually listen to All the Stars in Teeth on audio. So that would be really cool. And that's my audiobook, my other audiobook for the week. And then physically, we have some fun books, like ones that I've been really excited for and needing to get to. So I'm really praying that like Brittany from this week gets her, gets her stuff together and actually reads them. And that's The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This one should be really fast. I don't know why I keep putting it off, but I do keep putting it off, so. I mean, the print is so large. The pages, they're so few. I know it'll be a quick book. So I definitely want to pick it up, have a good time and finish it. And I haven't decided if I wanna read that before I try and finish this next book or if I wanna finish this next book and then get into Queen of Nothing because I'm just trying to decide like what's gonna be the best to like pull me out of a potential reading slump. So that's Crescent City. This isn't the copy I'm reading. The one I'm reading is actually in my room, but I just didn't feel like going to get it. So this is just the fancy like tour edition, but I want to finish House of Earth and Blood this month. Whether that be getting most of the way through this week and finishing it off next week, I'm not really sure yet, but I really, 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 really want to finish House of Earth and Blood. And I think that I'm finally kind of in the mood to start reading physically again. I just don't have too much on my plate for this week, which is good. I do have just like the work meetings that I've been having during quarantine. And I actually, <laughs> I set a goal for myself and I'm, uh, excited-ish. I used to really love working out, but about a long time ago, maybe like six to eight months ago, like anywhere between that time, <laughs> I stopped going to the gym. Like I stopped wanting to go to the gym and then I got out of the habit and then I would like visit it every once in a while, but like I never really wanted to be there or go or anything and I just wasn't having a good time and like I was just, I haven't worked out in at least six months. So I want to kind of like slowly get back into exercising just in general because it's it's good for you. I feel like skin and bones currently. It's weird. It's weird. So I just want to start working out again and like building muscle and feeling strong. So I'm trying to set a goal of doing Pilates. I'm gonna say like five out of the seven days this week. I haven't done it yet today. But 
but hopefully I do it before I go to sleep. I mean, I tend to just like look up YouTube videos and then just kind of decide which one will work best for me or whatever it is. I mean, and I'm not even being picky between Pilates or yoga. Either one, as long as I do something in the day would be cool. So yeah, hopefully that plus work, plus like just editing videos. I don't have much else going on. So hopefully I can actually like sit down and read and get to planning. Well, I do actually have a lot of like planning to do as far as like videos go, just because the new month is coming. So that means like bullet journal, wrap up, TBR, all that good jazz. So we'll see how this week goes. I was really anticipating it. And now I just told you everything that I have to do. And I'm like, you know, but that I just kind of wanted to give you an update because I want to take my makeup off. That way I don't have to do it later because I feel like I'm going to be here editing my vlog for a little, at least, at least an hour, at least maybe two. And I hate taking my makeup off when Adam's asleep because I just feel really bad like with all the water on and I like the light on because I get scared. You know when you're like washing your face? I think I saw a scary movie too young because I know this happened in a scary movie that I watched but you're like washing your face and then you like look up and you're always scared that there's gonna be like just something standing behind you in the mirror. Is that just me? It could just be me. But I mean I definitely saw a scary movie where it was like a creepy girl was behind her like covered in blood and the thing is the girl that I'm was washing her face, I'm pretty sure she could not see her. But that always stayed in my memory. I was like, oh God, I really hope there isn't a creepy like ghost thing staring at me while I am washing my face. Cause that's the most interesting thing that they would have to do with their day, obviously. But all right, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, it's five o'clock and you're right. I didn't finish editing my vlog, <laughs> but yeah, to be 100% fair, I did actually have multiple work meetings today and like work things. So I wasn't just sitting here doing nothing like I normally am. I have an excuse now. Yeah, now I'm probably actually going to get to editing my vlog or finishing up the editing because last night I did most of it, but I didn't want to finish like the last day, I think. And I still have to like go through and cleanly edit everything but I got I think to 62% of the way through the merciful crow it's going really well I'm really enjoying it I thought I'd gotten oh, through a lot more of it but when I looked I was like oh okay I think this is actually a little lengthier than I thought it was gonna be so yeah that's how today's going um nothing else really to report so this might be like my only update for today. I'm really not sure yet. Try not to make like a million year long vlogs anymore. You know, they're really annoying to edit. <laughs> so I may talk to you later. I may talk to you tomorrow. I'm, I may, I don't know where I was going with that, but I was going somewhere. Oh, this is kind of an update that I wanted to tell you. I know I was talking a lot about like this DIY, DIY project that I was really excited about, but a lot of the supplies that I need are actually from Ikea and Ikea is obviously closed right now, but their shipping apparently takes a month to get here. So none of those things that I was really excited about are going to be available to be done in this quarantine time. I'm not sure if we're still going to be under quarantine in a month. I did hold off on ordering them just in case, because if we're not, then I would just rather be able to pick it up at the Ikea store near my house but if we are still in quarantine then I screwed myself and I'll just have to place the order then but yeah it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought to get everything done and make everything as pretty as I wanted which is fine because like it can be a slower process I'm not that stressed about it but because of that because I didn't do all like that that spending that was probably gonna be a little little bit of money I now have money that I didn't spend and I'm like oh well I could go shopping now we love retail therapy in this household I am in like need of new clothes because I didn't do like my Coachella shopping which is normally where I get my new summer clothes I don't know how those two add up in my head together but they do like whenever I like settle down to start picking out my outfits for Coachella I also like look through all their cute summer releases and I'm like oh okay fine summer shopping it is and since that didn't happen. I didn't buy any new clothes and I want to buy new clothes and I'm running out of makeup. Well, I'm not, I'm not running out of makeup. That's dramatic, but I'm running out of like necessities for my makeup, like eyeliner. So I don't know. I'm really hoping I don't like go into full on spending mode because it, it's better to save money. Like it's better to save money kids. But for whatever reason, my mind is like, oh, well, I didn't spend all this money that I was going to spend. So now I should spend it somewhere else. I'm telling you retail therapy. It's a real thing. Not the most responsible thing, but I think we've established that I don't have the most responsible habits. So works out, I guess. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get to editing and then I will know what to do with the rest of my day. I'm hoping to read. We'll see if I do it. <laughs> oh. It's Thursday. So yeah, I did not update you guys yesterday. It just 
I slept for 90% of yesterday, which is strange, but the other 10% I was doing work stuff. And even today, I mean, the reason I'm updating you pretty late, it is 8 p.m. is because I've been doing more work stuff. There's like a lot of online training stuff that we were given. So that's kind of all I've been doing today. I did play Animal Crossing when I first woke up, which was amazing. I kind of had forgotten about Animal Crossing, not gonna lie. I mean, I know I played it last week, but it was only for maybe an hour. And before that, it had been like a whole other week before I'd played. So it's been a minute and I was just having kind of fun on my island and doing Cool stuff. Tom Nook finally gave me the talk where he was like, I mean, we gotta make this island prettier. And then I talked to Isabel and she goes, it's a one star out of fives. Yeah, but yeah, that's kind of all I've done today. I haven't gotten any reading done. I did actually just film though, so that's really neat. And I need to upload the footage, do some editing. I need to finish some work stuff. I am aiming to read today. Yesterday I went to bed early-ish and I wanted to read Crescent City but I've discovered that even with the reading light I just can't read in our bedroom. It just I don't know what it is about it but it totally throws me off so I think I'm gonna try and bring it into the book room and actually I'm gonna go get that right now so I don't forget. I grabbed Crescent City. This is my actual tabbed up version which I feel like I haven't actually shown you guys. Look how beautiful she is. I want to finish this. Right now I have to get back to like computer stuff, so I think I might actually try and read a chapter of Crescent City before I do that. I brought the reading light in because I figured it would be kind of fun to have like just my purple light on and use the reading light if I needed extra light later when I'm reading. That was fun. I was looking over the comments on my vlog from last week and just seeing what you guys wanted as far as like a live show goes and it looks like it's probably going to be a kind of mix of reading and q and A. I I got a ton of comments just saying basically like, oh you should do a reading, you should do a q and A, you should just answer like trivia questions, things like that. And I had one person be like, oh you should do it the way that Books with Chloe, Kate Literature, and Leo Reads did it where they did like 15 minutes of talking and then 15 minutes of reading so that it could be kind of a mix of both and I thought that was a really good idea so I'm probably going to be posting a tweet about that. I feel like before quarantine's over I might want to just do like weekly live shows. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But like it just seems like a good time. It's not too much work on my end and it's just like a fun time for us to all kind of like sit and talk to each other and have some human interaction, I don't know. Oh, 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 I do wanna mention, because I'm sure you're a bit like, Brittany, you have been so lazy this week, but that is true, that is true. But I actually started working out again, and it's so much fun. I did Pilates on Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday we didn't do it because I really needed a rest day, but I actually got Adam to do it with me on Tuesday and it was really, really fun, and today we should be doing it again, and I just feel so much better already. <sighs> That was just kind of like a, a side note. Maybe I'll have a little bit, a little clip of me doing some yoga or something later on in this vlog, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to give you a general update, say hello, give you the game plan for the day, and that's it. All right, I will see you guys in the next clip. I wanted to uh, make this because, wait, I'm all washed out now, because it's been a year, a year, over a year that I've had this ring light and I could have been using it as a tripod this entire time for my vlogging camera. Not like the other one. I don't think the other one could be supported by this little flimsy thing. I, okay, okay, let's give you like the whole rundown of how I figured this out because it's always had a little slot right there, but I thought it was just for the phone holder. And I was like, I'm not gonna use my phone to film. I need my vlogging camera. And also this tilts like this way. That way I can do like my bullet journaling videos, but there's always like an annoying kind of situation because the camera tilts differently than the ring light and then like the lighting is all off. But I was just dealing with it. <laughs> I even bought a fancy tripod that could do like the the this thing so it could lean over the bullet journal when the ring light could do it all along. Anyways, back to what I was saying, I went looking for the pieces that you could insert into the ring light because I wanted to film a TikTok, which I posted earlier this week. I, don't, I can't remember if I talked about it already. And I wanted my ring light for it and I remembered that the phone could go into the ring light for that. And I, there was a couple of other pieces that were along with it. And I was just looking at them, messing with them, and I realized that one of the pieces could go with the vlogging camera. So. Here you are right now, just on my ring light. You can tilt. Do you see that tripod over there? It cost way too much money for me to have spent it when my ring light could have done it all. 
it's fine, you know? It's, it's just a learning experience. I guess we'll see when I vlog, or when I do my bullet journal video for this month if this would even work. I don't know why I wanted to show you this like mental breakdown that I'm having, but I thought we could go through it together. Thriving. 2020. 2020 really is that bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll voice this over because there's just too much going on. <laughs> there really isn't that much to say. I just wanted to film a clip of me repainting my nails because I've been so into painting my nails lately and nail polish in general that I thought it would be interesting to put in my vlog. But I am still a total newbie at this and don't really know what I'm doing. By the way, the nail polish that I use almost exclusively is the Lights Lacquer from Kathleen Lights and uh, the clear polish that I'm using right now is the SC gel polish. I have no idea if it's good, but it's the only one I have. So there's that. What's up? So I did actually just want to give you guys a little bit of an update before the end of the night. It is Saturday currently. Yesterday I wore the same shirt and you saw me paint my nails. I'm wearing the same shirt because I barely wore it yesterday and then I didn't really get to vlog in it. Don't judge me. But it's it's new so that's why I'm excited about it. I played Animal Crossing today and yesterday just a lot for whatever reason and I have actually been getting some like house stuff done today just like figuring out some things that I had to order for our house and to decorate because I really want to do that eventually. So I do plan on trying to figure out like my bullet journal stuff tonight and also I really 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 want to finish Crescent City. That's my goal for the end of this week. I just want to finish Crescent City. But right now I'm actually about to take well, not like really a break, but my roommates are actually playing, roommates and boyfriend are playing Dungeons and Dragons and they actually already started the game, but I had to finish up some stuff and I'm about to join them. So I don't know how long it's going to take or if I'm going to stay for the whole game or what's going on there, but I did want to just update you just in case I don't have another chance to later on, but I am hoping. I still have high hopes. It's only eight. Guys, this is early for me. <laughs> By the way, a ton of you guys said you loved this lighting, so I'm going to try and like fill more in it because it's, it's definitely like... I love it. It calms me down so much. It's so much easier on my eyes. It's great. Um, I'm gonna just head out right now. Head out. Go out to the living room. You might even be able to hear them in the background. But I'm gonna go out to the living room, play a little, maybe watch. It depends on where they are in the game. Just to kind of hang out and be sociable, you know? And then once that's done, I'll be coming back in here. Maybe giving you another update. Maybe not. It all depends. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? <laughs> my new shirt has like for sure Crescent City vibes. Like there's like a little sun and some stars and it's red. <laughs> we love this for us. <laughs>
Hey everyone, so I have not talked to you in a minute, a long minute. It is currently Tuesday and yeah, this is the last few days of the readathon and I did end up extending this vlog into like the entire week and a half just because I didn't actually have that much footage from last week. I hadn't read a lot last week so I decided to just kind of keep filming but then yesterday I didn't talk to you. I mean Sunday I think I just filmed myself doing yoga and then Monday I didn't talk at all either but that is for a reason. So I actually finished a book. <laughs> I know. Physically. I know. And that is Crescent City. Um, Yeah. All you have to know is I gave it five stars. The reason I didn't talk yesterday was because I ended up filming a ton of vlog clips for the ending of this book. It's kind of strange because I didn't film almost any. I didn't plan on making it a vlog, so all I have is one clip from the very, very beginning and then a ton of clips from the very, very end, so it'll be fun to edit and figure out how I'm doing that video. So I didn't end up talking to you guys yesterday because I was just filming for that. Yeah, and then today I only did like a montage. I have not done anything with myself today. I ended up just doing a lot of like reorganizing with the house. We finally like moved some things around in the living room and then in here I actually moved this, which you might recognize. That's my coffee thing normally, but there isn't really room for it now that we rearranged the living room and I was like, that would be pretty cool to store my stationery. So that that's what I did. I don't know. As I get more, it'll probably look better. And I read A Court of Mist and Fury. I had no plans to start a reread, but then I just did. So that's how that happened. <sighs> Yeah. As far as like my actual books for the readathon go, I will be listening to hopefully the rest of The Merciful Crow tomorrow while just I get ready and things like that. I am planning on filming a live show tomorrow because kind of like a half celebration, half just like read in kind of situation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I don't know how it's gonna go. I have no plans currently and I just hope people show up <laughs> to ask questions. <laughs> if not, we'll just read, it's fine. But I have to like get ready for that tomorrow. So I'll be listening to the audiobook during that. I also have to start doing my bullet journals and I need to probably film my bullet journal video tomorrow, which is another big audiobook chunk. So that should be finished pretty easily. And then after that, I'm going to pick up all the stars and teeth on audio. Uh, and then the only other like big book on my TBR that I would have to finish. Oh, well, actually there's a couple. So I would have to finish Aqua Corn Cove by the end of the week and also Queen of Nothing, which I think should be fine because I'm in a really good physical reading mood right now, which is great. I've never seen this setting on my lights. They're just like blinking on and off all together. It's very strange. They stopped. Oh my god, did they die? Oh no, they're back on. <laughs> After I finished, which actually, according to Mr. Fury, I'm already on page like 400 and I haven't even been reading for most of the day. That was only like a few hours in the start. I read it really fast because it's more of like a skim reread because I've read it so many times. So I should finish that. Probably the chunk that I want to finish by tonight and then tomorrow I'll get on to reading physically Queen of Nothing when I have time but mostly it's gonna be audiobook heavy and this is just an update to let you guys know what was going on what was happening I haven't talked to you in a million years so yeah that's sort of that I hope that this was fun I'll talk to you tomorrow hopefully I look a little bit more put together today has been a day you know so that's why I look like it's been a day <laughs> okay bye It is Wednesday and it's like 3.15 right now. So I'm getting ready to go live. I've never done a live show on my channel before. It was actually a struggle. Originally this was supposed to go up at three, but when I was doing my, when I started doing my makeup, I realized that, ooh, am I out of focus? I'm definitely out of focus. Okay. I realized that I hadn't set up the live show. Like normally you can see when people are going to go live, like a few hours before and stuff. And I hadn't done that. So <laughs> I had to take a break and like figure out how to work like live show things and get that started. So it's actually going up at four now instead. Cause I still had to do my makeup and I just didn't know if I was going to get it done in time for three. So yeah, I, I actually made some pho, so I'm excited about that. Gonna eat before the live show, probably read a little. I ended up not reading any more of Court of Mist. I did not realize I was halfway through, over halfway. Yep, 358. Um, I ended up not reading any more of it last night. I actually, after rearranging everything, went outside and watched 
this anime that was actually like pretty cool with my roommates and then I went to sleep because it got really late. It was like 3 a.m. <laughs> so today has been really productive though so far because I woke up pretty early because I had a couple of work calls and then after those were done I actually did yoga. I am not like a morning exercise kind of person, so that was impressive for me. And then I like showered and got ready. I figured out the whole stream yard thing. We're just really thriving. I'm <laughs> anxious about the live show because I've never done one again. So I don't know if like the conversation is going to be fluid, if it's gonna feel like I'm just talking to myself. I mean, to be fair, I talk to myself all the time, like what we're doing right now. But I am planning to probably read a little, well, right now actually before I go live and also maybe during, maybe game, I brought my switch just in case I wanted to play some Animal Crossing, but I'm not really sure yet. So I mostly want to read. I'm thinking about reading Aquacorn Cove during the live. I'm gonna kind of let you guys decide. I hope that was fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about it because you probably either saw it or you can see it, so we're just gonna stop and I'm gonna have some me time, I guess, before the live show. Maybe I'll read Akamath because I didn't get to read the part that I wanted to read last night. I will talk to you guys maybe during the live show, probably after though, so bye. I forgot to update you <laughs> as far as reading goes. That's hilarious. I actually listened to more of Merciful Crow today while I was getting ready. Do I, did I not bring my phone? Oh, it's in my back pocket. <laughs> hmm, what a day. So I am 60, is it still 67? Oh, there we go. I am 73% of the way through, so I do think I'm gonna finish it today. Uh, I, again, still have to like film my bullet journal stuff and all that good audiobook listening time, so I'll probably be finishing that first, and then let's actually just get all the stars and teeth on Scribd lined up. That way I know it's all there and ready to go. Because if that's not on Scribd anymore, that would suck. It's a 12 hour and a half audiobook, so if I'm listening on two times speed, it should really only take like six hours and 15 minutes. But I do take a really long time doing my bullet journal, so I'm not exactly worried about it. Plus I can continue listening to this tomorrow. So by today though, I want to have finished Aquacorn Cove, The Merciful Crow, and maybe A Court of Mystic Fury. That way that can kind of be out of the way and tomorrow I can just focus on Queen of Nothing. I think that would be fun. So yeah, that, that was my reading update. Surprising, I know, I did reading and I'm doing reading. It's wild, I don't know who I am anymore. A book or something. Oh, I love that. This is the best angle. Oh, it's so weird to see myself in high def after seeing myself on a computer screen for so long. But I just finished my live stream. It was two hours long. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot stop talking. I am just the chatterbox. But thank you for anyone who hung out with me. It was actually a really good time. And I have decided that I definitely want to try and make this like a weekly thing as long as quarantine and self-isolation is still happening. I just think it's a great way to kind of like feel more connected. And it really made me feel more connected to you guys, which is really cool because I feel like when having gotten a little bit bigger and having like the amount of comments that I get on each video, it has felt a little bit harder to feel very connected to you guys. And like, that's something that I was kind of feeling bummed about. And this really just like reignited like my love and passion for like hanging out with you guys. Like you're kind of the reason that I do all this. <laughs> I have a good time doing it, but like you guys are a big part of the reason. And it's nice to kind of be able to see you and talk to you and hang out. So hopefully next week I'll be making another one. But I did actually manage to read Aquacorn Cove during that and it was lovely. It was so, so good. It's a five star in my book. I love Katie O'Neill. I really feel like at this point she can do no wrong for me. She's just one of those. But this is probably my favorite of her works. I love Tea Dragon Society. I think that it's absolutely precious, but I think that the message in Aquacorn Cove just really, really rang out to me and I had a really good time reading it because it just, it has a, it has a really good message about like caring about the world around you and realizing that like any small difference is still a difference that can help the world and by helping the world, it'll help you. Like it's, it's a full circle kind of thing. And I think that she did a really good job of discussing that in this. And also there was like a brief talk about mental health, which I thought was really cool because our main character, she's kind of dealing with a lot of grief since her mother passed and she never really like let herself feel it and I think that like this whole journey was also really eye-opening for her which was really lovely. So I'm really happy that I actually sat down and read this during that live show. It was just a good time and then I read a little bit more of A Court of Mist and Fury. So right now I think I'm actually gonna leave my room and maybe talk to my boyfriend and my roommates which
which I didn't do for two hours, even though I've been talking for two hours. And then uh, maybe get to reading more of this. I honestly want to finish this tonight. And I think that I could just because, and I don't know if you guys consider this cheating. In my head, it's not cheating, but like for the most part, I am reading this all the way through, but there's certain scenes that I have allowed myself to kind of like either skim or kind of skip. So like there's a scene in, in a court. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a, a like a chapter that's in a different court and that one I kind of skipped over because I remember it really well and I just kind of wanted to get on to like the juicy stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I think I should be able to finish this tonight and then yeah, and then I'll probably try and do some bullet journaling, listen to the rest of The Merciful Crow, and then tomorrow it's just gonna be about reading Queen of Nothing and All the Stars and Teeth. Those are like my main goals. Even though I'm reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, it's not on my TBR for the month, so I don't feel like I need to finish it, so yeah. All right, I'm going to check out. I don't know if I'll talk to you guys later or tomorrow or what's gonna happen, but I need to give my voice a rest, so I will see you then. It is the official last day of the readathon, and I still have two books to finish. So, All the Stars and Teeth and Queen of Nothing. I. I'm actually just about to sit down to film my bullet journal video for the month. I just finished sketching everything out so I should be getting started on that and just listening to the rest of All the Stars and Teeth. I am actually on chapter 28 of 38 so pretty far along in it which is really really great. I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to give you an update definitely before I finished it just to kind of you know hash out some thoughts. I'm really having a good time. When it first started I kind of was worried that it was gonna kind of just follow along those cliches, but it's a really good balance of a lot of tropes that I like because they're out on the sea so they're kind of like in a bit of a survival situation and just like, you know, working hard and we have a little bit of a love triangle. It's a very mild one. It's kind of strange because our main character, Amora, she is a princess so she has an arranged marriage and that's not really like a, a spoiler or anything. You find out right away but she has been already kind of like promised to another man and when everything happens because basically they live in this world where you can choose what kind of magic you practice but you can only choose one kind of magic because multiple magics will uh, drive you crazy, but Amora has to learn soul magic, which is the kind of magic that only the royals can do, only the person that rules their world can do. So when she's trying to prove that she can do soul magic, something goes awry in her trials and she ends up having to run away with this pirate. But unsurprisingly, I adore the pirate. I like, I like his just backstory. He's just kind of a little bit broody. He's giving me Orlando Bloom vibes <laughs> from Pirates. Actually all of this is giving me like slightly Pirates vibes just because she is like this prim and proper lady but also she wants to get down and dirty and work in a ship and I mean I don't know it's a good time and then her betrothed comes along with them but because it's more of like a promised to you situation it's not so much like a oh I'm in love with you oh I'm in love with you kind of thing so I really like it and then there's this mermaid or a siren and I love her I mean she is just she's giving me all the like really amazing vibes she just is like this stunning sexual creature and I'm into it and yeah I'm just having a good time the more that the story goes on the more attached I'm growing to these characters when it first started I was actually really worried that I wasn't gonna be attached and that it would kind of flop but I'm having a great time so I'm gonna keep listening to that I should be finished with it within probably the next hour or so or not hour maybe like a couple of hours I'm, I'm not sure which I will likely still be working on my bullet journal I also started sketching out my actual journal for the month but I'm not filming that so not a big deal nothing for you to worry yourself with but after I finish that I just don't think I'm gonna have time to physically read Queen of Nothing hopefully I will it just depends on where I'm at in my bullet journaling process but if I have to I think I'm gonna try and pick up Queen of Nothing on audio and at least start it audibly just because I need something while I'm finishing up my well I don't need something but I would really enjoy something while I'm finishing up my bullet journal and then I'm just gonna try and push through and read the rest of Queen of Nothing tonight and then I was deciding on what my other challenges would be so I'm pretty sure Merciful Crow if it doesn't end up having to take the place of Queen of Nothing is gonna count for my care of magical creatures which I'll let you guys know at the very end what all of these counted for because they were like the extra side careers that you could add on to your career and then even the darkest stars can be history of 
of magic because it has to do with witches. Astronomy is probably going to be Crescent City because I did do the majority of that reading at night. I think I only wrote a little bit during the daytime and it was like at the very end. And then I still have City of Heavenly Fire to kind of like place around if I want to, but yeah. So I'm going to get to journaling. I hope that this one isn't as long as I normally take because I did like thoroughly sketch everything out, but we will see because there's a lot of like specific fonts and like specific stylizing things that I did with this week or this month's bullet journal, which I'm really excited about, but like it took forever to sketch. So yeah, that's it. I will give you one last update probably tonight unless it's like so so late that I don't even want to like have you guys see me. <laughs> but yeah, so there should be one last update just letting you know how I did in the readathon and everything and then that'll be it. That'll be all the month of April and that'll be the whole magical readathon which is very exciting. So yeah. I will catch you guys then. It is the end of the vlog. It is the next day. I stayed up quite late last night finishing up my bullet journal and I mean last night. It was this morning. I but I'm counting everything that I finished because for me I've always thought like until I go to sleep it is not the next day. So yeah. Let's just dive on in to the things that I finished Ugh. and then I'll let you know if I succeeded or not. So the first book that I finished for this week, I believe, was House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I gave this five stars. It is my all-time new favorite book. I'm not going to give you large wrap-ups on these just because my wrap-up video should be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a little bit of information. That's what I wanted to say. And that counted for astronomy, so I still haven't decided exactly the classes that I added on, but I mean in general it could have counted for astronomy. So there's that. And then the next book that I finished this week, or well in this vlog, was <laughs> The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. And I gave this book four stars. I did really enjoy it. It just didn't like, it didn't have that je ne sais quoi, you know? But I mean it was still really really good. Actually all the books that I read this vlog were really really good so that's awesome and that actually counted for the challenge of care of magical creatures again technically i still haven't decided what class that counts for but it's there and then i finished aquacorn cove by katie o'neill literally the most precious book i read this this month in general i give it five stars i absolutely adored it it's definitely my new favorite katie o'neill book so if you haven't checked it out if you've only read tea dragon society or even if you haven't read tea dragon society i recommend this one the most and then that was actually for my career so that's cool but it counted for potions which was read a book under 150 pages and then i finished last night all the stars and teeth by adeline grace and i was really stuck between giving this a four or five stars i enjoyed it so so much i had a really great time i'm so excited for the next book i'm just really excited about it it was so so good i'm so happy i read it i'm so happy this was on my like most anticipated of the year because it was definitely worth it so i did end up giving it a four star though just because i'm really trying to hold back my five stars for only books that are like life-changing and though this one's like pretty close like it's like it's like a 4.5 to be quite fair but i'm not doing half ratings as i've said a million times since the year started i feel like and that actually counted for defense against the dark arts which was a book set at the sea slash coast and then what you guys have all been wondering did i finish did i complete my horror career for the challenge of of what of charms which was lumos maxima a white cover i was originally gonna pick up queen of nothing but since i was doing so much journaling i would have had to pick it up audibly which wouldn't have been terrible but I really really wanted to read it physically so I kind of went on a little hunt and I out of nowhere realized that this book has an audiobook now because I swear the last time I checked it didn't and my library had it available and it was shorter than Queen of Nothing. I know I know I'm building up a lot of suspense. That's The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. I loved this. It was kind of weird. It was a strange reading experience. It ended up being a four star just because again I'm really trying to hold back my fives until like I love love it and I would still say that I like all the stars and teeth more but the thing is is like this is such a different vibe it was very thrillery and just weird 
weird. It was so weird because I mean, for the most part, we're on a college campus. This guy's kind of running away from his past and he's playing XE, which is similar to lacrosse, but it's not. It's kind of like a made up sport in the book. And he's on this team of misfits. It's just, it's so strange. And honestly, it felt like unrealistic. It felt like I was reading a novella, like not like a novella, like a novela from like childhood. So if you're Spanish or even if you're not, I feel like most people still know about them, but like they're like dramas, like very dramatic shows that are in Spanish. And that's what it felt like at a certain point, just because like everyone was so messed up and so specifically messed up. And I'm really curious to see like how certain characters play out in the rest of the trilogy, I believe it is. I did really enjoy it though. And I'm so, so glad that I picked it up and finished it. Who would have thunk? And that was it. The, so I completed Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Potions, and Transfiguration. So I am now officially graduated as an order, at least with my owls. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm still kind of deciding what everything else is gonna count for. Stay tuned for my wrap up because I will tell you guys there if I decided that they count for anything. And that's it for this video today, guys. I mean, I had a really good time vlogging again during the owls. I'm not 100% sure if weekly vlogs have made a complete comeback on my channel as much as I adored doing it for the owls. I just don't know. I love vlogging, but I almost wanna do more like, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So don't expect a vlog every single week, but also I'm not saying that's not gonna happen because I love vlogging and I love chit-chatting with you guys. So yeah, I can't wait to see what this week has in store for us because yeah, because yeah, that's really it. I'm a little brain dead still from staying up all night, completing my freaking bullet journal. It took forever. That's gonna be it for this video today, guys. Let me know if you were participating in the Magical Readathon and if you managed to complete your career. I would absolutely adore to know and and yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I hope you're staying super, super safe and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.